Alright, we're going to do a demo of the new VOR interface. Let's go over the instrument first. This is the OBS indicator from a, an ATC simulator made by ATC. And uh, it uses a resolver inside to detect the position of the compass card here. And then the needle is a DRSN volmeter. And of course, we have our nav flag down here. And it's running through an Arduino. So there's an Arduino Uno here. A network controller, and then uh, of course the custom circuit board that brings everything onto the Arduino. Power is from 12 volts here, and we've got a network connection. This is once again all network based, there's no USB. And we're using the original harness, so we didn't have to make any changes to the instrument itself, it's completely stock. Let's have a look and see how. Oh, one, one note I would make is um, this instrument works by receiving the currently tuned radial from X-Plane. So X-Plane does not receive any information from this gauge. Uh, X-Plane just transmits the, the data. And I did all the programming on this gauge to position the needle and the flag correctly based on what, whichever radial we're tuned to. Let's go ahead and uh, I've got X-Plane pulled up here. We're going to unpause it. Let me bring up something first. Here's a map on X-Plane. You see our aircraft is down here. We're southeast of the station. The station is, let's see, 116.8. I believe it's right about here. It's covered up by, yeah, here it is. It's the Seattle Vortac. So we're going to tune into that in just a second here. We're going to look for the correct indication. Hmm? Let's go ahead and bail out of here. All right, so watch the gauge for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and tune it in to 116.8. See our currently tuned, uh, current setting here is 090, which means I would be looking for the uh, 090 radial from the station. Alright, we're tuned in. So it's showing us at 090 where we are from the station. And we're going to have to fly left of our current position, or I should say north, um, to line up with our VOR. Let's go ahead and adjust our setting here. We're going to find out, first of all, what radio we're currently on. We know we're southeast, so let's start tuning toward the southeast. Oh, there it is. Looks like we're about we're about on the uh, let's see nine about on the 108 radio. Looks like. Let's go ahead and turn this around 180 degrees. We'll see if we get a two indication. Oh, there's our two. And there is the needle. So it's showing us that a course of about 290, uh, 287 or so, will take us to the station. As you can see, we have uh, the need needle swings very realistically. Doesn't just snap all at once. Again, all the all the logic for the instrument is happening on the Arduino here. It's not coming from X-Plane. X-Plane is just sending our position, basically. Go ahead and snap this back around. There's the front flag. And once again, our indication. Let's do a quick intercept just for testing purposes. I'm heading northwest right now. So I'm going to flip this back around. Okay, we're on about the. So it's about. Yeah, it's like about. 288 to the station. Let's snap that around to about 285 and see if we can intercept. So if you want to look up here on the compass, I'm going to zoom in. We're currently on about a uh, 300 heading. So that's about a, what's that, actually about 310. It's about a 30 degree intercept. Look at the gauge here, we'll see the needles coming around. I'm going to start to bring my heading around to 285. Oh, anticipated a little too much. There we go. And there it is right there. It's just about where we want to be. I may have some wind in here I forgot about. And now we're on course to the station on approximately a, uh, looks like about a 285 heading. And of course if I tune the gauge out, you'll see it snap back to center. Go ahead and watch the instrument again. I'm going to untune from the station. And 
pieces back to neutral. There it is. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Ruthie, for the great video there. This is Matt Bailey with Bailey Jets. Thank <laughs> you.